This is Apollo Control at 26 hours. The ignition time for this mid-course correction will be 26 hours, 44 minutes, 57 seconds, uh, about 44 minutes from now. It will be a service propulsion system maneuver. Duration of the burn will be 3 seconds. The delta V, 21.3 feet per second. This mid-course maneuver should reduce the paracynthian of Apollo 11's trajectory from uh, the present 175 nautical miles to 60 nautical miles. One minute to the burn. Burning. The duration will be three seconds. Shut down. Houston, burn complete. Are you copying our residuals? Uh, affirmative. And uh, we've copied your residuals, 11. No, we're not going to trip those fish. This is Apollo Control. That was a good burn. The residuals uh, were in the order of a half a foot a second or less and uh, will not be trimmed. And we're showing spacecraft weight now is 96,159 pounds. At 28 hours, 40 minutes, we're showing uh, Apollo 11's distance as 114,922 nautical miles from Earth. Velocity, 4,819 feet per second. The crew is uh, eating lunch at the present time. And uh, it sounds like there's some music in the background that they're enjoying during their lunch period. 11, Houston. Go ahead. Roger, is that music I hear in the background? Buzz is singing. Okay. Half meters off. This is Apollo Control at 75 hours, 26 minutes. We're 15 minutes away from loss of signal. Apollo 11 is 966 miles from the moon. Velocity 6,511 feet per second. We're 23 minutes away from the LOI burn. Flight Director Cliff Charlesworth pulling the flight controllers for the go no go status for LOI now. Apollo 11, this is Houston, over. Roger, go ahead, Houston, Apollo 11. Uh, 11, this is Houston, uh, you are go for LOI, over. Roger, go for LOI. And we've had loss of signal as Apollo 11 goes behind the moon with a good uh, lunar orbit insertion burn. The Madrid station should acquire Apollo 11 at 76 hours, 15 minutes, 29 seconds. Standing by for two. Got B closed. Turning. We're looking good. Ray, here comes B. B, I mean, stress A, mark. Got him. Okay, now what's your range of chamber pressure? It's good. 95. 95. Okay, folks, is oscillating around. Five seconds in, it says go decrease. They're in pretty good. The gimbals are uh, working a little bit more busily than I would have guessed, but uh, everything's looking good. EMS and CNN count together. Okay. That is a beautiful bird. God damn, I guess. Woo! Well, I have to vote with the 10 crew. That thing is brown. Yeah. It is. Hand to me. But when I first saw it at that other sun yeah, angle, it, looked great, it yeah. really looked great. Yeah. More, uh, more Got sun more, angle, you get to see More bound uh, with increasing sun angle. There are a few conversations taking place here in the control room, but not very many. Uh, most of the people sitting quietly, watching and listening, not talking. Well, that noise is just bringing up the system. We have not acquired a signal. We're a 
a minute and a half away from uh, acquisition time. 30 seconds. Madrid AOS. Madrid AOS. Telemetry indicates that the crew is working on the antenna angles to uh, bring the high gain antenna to bear. Could you repeat your burn status report? We copied the uh, residuals and burn time, and that was about it. Send the whole thing again, please. It was right. This is Apollo Control. We have less than 10 minutes now until loss of signal on the 12th revolution. Uh, before losing contact with the spacecraft, we'll be passing along a go, no go decision for undocking. That will occur early on the next revolution, just prior to reacquiring the uh, spacecraft. Flight Director Gene Kranz is going around the control center now, talking to his flight controllers, reviewing status, and uh, in preparation for making the go-no-go -no -go decision uh, for undocking. Uh, Houston Eagle, the uh, RCS hot fire is complete. Uh, how did you uh, observe it? Over. Stand by. Eagle, Houston, the RCS hot fire okay, looks to super to us. Uh, we're all go. This is Apollo Control. We've had loss of signal now. Uh, we'll reacquire the spacecraft again uh, on the 13th revolution in about 45 minutes. At the end of this uh, pass, we passed along the go for undocking. Uh, that maneuver will occur uh, just before we reacquire the spacecraft on the 13th revolution and will be followed in about 30, 30 minutes, uh, about 30 minutes later by a small separation maneuver performed by Mike Collins in the command module. Uh, the check out of the LEM has been going extremely well uh, up to now ahead of schedule and both vehicles look very good. At 99 hours 31 minutes this is Apollo Control Houston. Thank you. 